One of the main misconceptions at this stage is understanding the difference between two events being independent and two events being mutually exclusive. Um, so it's really an understanding of what these mean. Now, two events are independent if one does not affect the other. So, for example, um, let's say uh, there is a game at the casino and the game to win a thousand pounds is if you roll uh, a one on a roulette wheel and you draw an ace from a pack of cards. Okay? Now, the fact of whether I get a one or a two or a three or whatever number on the roulette wheel will not affect the probability of getting an ace from the pack of cards. And so the two events, rolling a one on the roulette wheel and drawing an ace from the pack of cards, are independent of one another. They, one will not affect the other. Subsequently, if two events, A and B, are independent, then, well, if we write this formally, A and B are independent if and only if the intersection of A and B can be calculated by just multiplying the probability of A by the probability of B. If this holds, then the two events A and B are independent of one another. Okay? And this is something you do need to remember. So that relates to independence. Now what does it mean to be mutually exclusive? Well, if two events are mutually exclusive, then they cannot happen at the same time. Okay? That is the difference here between independence and mutually exclusive. With independence, one does not affect the other. But with mutually exclusive, they cannot happen at the same time. So, for example, um, let's say uh, this another game at the casino <clears throat> is that I win a thousand pounds if I draw both a club and a diamond from a pack of cards with one try. Okay? There is no way of me drawing both a club and a diamond with one card. And so the probabilities of those two events, uh, they cannot happen at the same time. I cannot flip a coin and get both heads and tails at the same time. Okay? Those two events are mutually exclusive. So, subsequently, if they cannot happen at the same time, we could draw a Venn diagram to represent mutually exclusive events by drawing two circles that don't overlap. If there's no overlap, they cannot happen at the same time. And so, the property of A intersection B, we would say, is zero. That is what it means to be mutually exclusive. Okay, And that is the key difference here between independence and mutual exclusivity, if you will. Okay? And it's something you just need to make sure that you know. Subsequently from this, because the probability of A intersection B is zero, we can go back to that formula that we wrote down and say, well, that means that the probability of A union B will just be equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. So it's just those two probabilities added together. Okay, there's no subtract an intersection because the intersection is zero. Okay, and that's the difference.